Most children have been back on campus for over a week or two now. The transition back into the classroom can be tough. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker shares ways to keep the process as smooth as possible. Going back to school after a normal summer is hard enough on students, but after more than a year out because of the pandemic, it is a completely different story. Kids may be confused about what they really need to do and what's not mandatory and uh, so forth. That transition may be difficult. The CDC says teachers and administrators can help by providing virtual connections with other parents and teachers. They can create virtual tours of the classroom, consider in-person outside meetings to discuss issues, provide frequent communication with parents, and stick to a daily structure, including short goodbyes when parents drop kids off at school. In general, the longer the goodbye, the longer the anxiety exists, and the higher it becomes. Parents can help their children by connecting with other parents who can share their experiences, talking with teachers about the best way to start the day right, staying calm and making sure the child feels as safe as possible, and don't forget to take the time to take care of yourself, especially when returning to the office. Having to go into the workplace may cause a great deal of anxiety for parents because it's the first time perhaps they've been in closer contact, even if they're distancing at work. Also, parents should monitor their child closely, and if their anxiety is severe or persistent, talk to their family doctor as soon as possible. Jeremy Baker, KENS 5 Eyewitness News. For more information on family health, call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of the Wear the Gown stories. Just go to wearthegown.com.